Hi there, Steve again. I'm just going to show you very quickly how the workflow works for my contract. And the contract, once again, is with Google Forms. Here's how it works. All I do is I get an email. Okay, this is an email from Inquiry on my website. It's a fake one, but all I do is I hit reply. And then I've got these little bars here. Uh, one says templates, and that's from an app called toutapp.com. It's listed on my resources page of VR Owner's Guide, by the way. Uh, but anyway, click that, and then I've got some choices. I've got an already rented, if they've already rented my plate, or if, there's, if it's not available, if the rent's due. But the one I want right now is cabin customer, because it's a potential customer. Okay, I'm just gonna put in their name. Hello, Bob. Um, it's got a few sentences in there. I can put in my rate. And then it's right here, this blue link, it says rental agreement. That links directly to the Google form, which has my contract. I don't have to change it. I don't have to do anything. That's it. They just click on it and fill it out and they're done. Uh, the only other thing I have to do on this email is I go to my thing here where I'm gonna plug in my deposit amount. Just copy and paste. I'm gonna plug this in right here for my PayPal deal here. I also have another thing for Square Cash if I want to do that for free, but that's another, that's a whole other conversation. So anyway, I'm just going to delete that. I'm going to hit send. So in a matter of about, what, a minute, I've sent an inquiry that has both the uh, payment amount that they need to pay as well as a link to my contract. So it's very simple, very elegant, and it literally takes a minute or two and I've sent an inquiry and then they can basically book it now right from there. Now, if I want to screen them and ask them questions or call them, of course, I can do that too. But at least if I, if I already have done that, for example, even before I've sent the email, they're good to go. They can make a decision and get it done very, very quickly. Now, what does it look like when they click on the agreement? Let's take a look at that. Here's the actual agreement itself. Uh, it's just a basically a one-page thing. It's got my important things. I, I don't think you really need to have these, you know, 12-page agreements. I think a lot of those are way over the top, and and they're not any more legally binding than than my contract is here. Um, so anyway, uh, I've, what I what the thing that I have that's built into this though is it's the full contract plus I make them put in their name, address. Uh, zip code, email, phone, cell phone, uh, arrival date, departure date. I make them um, so, you know, basically initial that there's no pets, smoking, or drugs on the property. And then I have them do a digital signature and then the number of guests, you know, number of adults and number of kids. And then they hit submit. Boom. Once they've done that, which, you know, literally takes five minutes, super simple, I get all that, all that great data back. It actually comes back in the form of a spreadsheet. Let me t let me show you what that looks like. Okay, so here's what this looks like. I've got the uh, it's a it's a it's a Google document here. This is my guest agreement. It timestamps everything as you can see here. It's got the responsible party and this, the same exact stuff that they filled out. There's their digital signature. There's the amount of uh, guests that are coming. So I have this stuff saved for good and I like it it's just real simple very straightforward very easy and completely free thanks for watching